to do? Stop, man, and turn off this tune. Biggest stomping walls are shaking, hips quaking. I only eat a booty with a side of bacon. Yo, I came to get down. Fuck the noise complaints and get loud. I'm a woman, not to like Captain Kirk. Give me a couple honeys and I'll go to work. Girls, they see me and they go berserk. It's always Joey. Take off your shirt. Now hit a mess around, now hear the bargain. I'm royalty, so break out the charmin'. I always wipe twice for good measure. One for business and one for pleasure. song here's how it goes this about to blow when i hit the double jump like super mario pop up the whip do a flip keep it sick i got the mic in my mouth gonna whip ding of all the ways that i'm much better i keep it hot like a turtleneck sweater double jump nike ass with a pump out of wood case swiss i ain't a chump follow my rhythm follow my flow dance to this drop your hips get low Get with the program fly past it like Logan. i'm known to heat it up with my Scaled on monkey bars with no hands the Old school duo with a fresh new slide Grab the deck, spread the edge and spin them around Make your body clump, do a double pump Bouncing all around, make you want to double jump Jump, 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 jump And bring your feet up, and bring your feet up And bring your feet up, and bring your feet up I said bounce with me, run it up I said bounce with me, run it up I said bounce with me, run it up I said double, double, uh, double, uh, double, double, double jump Oh my I'm a clown like Nemo Coming in hard and I better go harder Clap for me, beat my applaud As I'm the melody marauder The tracks I slaughter Superior taste to beat, shout out my father I'm Swifty, the girls can't resist me B-Boy Bray on the mic to assist me Uh, did you miss me? Hold up, cause now I'ma flip it and reverse it like Missy I'm tall, handsome, clear complexion Are you feeling this connection? Baby, if you see me and strike up a chat Double jump, double jump, double jump All that jump. Well, that was that was an abrupt that was an abrupt ending to the to the song. Sorry, sorry everybody, we're here. Welcome. Holy fuck, I'm using OBS Studio. <laughs> what a what a very different thing that I'm I'm not used to yet. And and we got some new uh, new stuff going on. I got I got a second camera right here. That's kind of weird. 
And I got this like little arm. Oh, it's better to show you. I got this little arm thing. So uh, when Sybil shouts at the dogs or gets mad at Animal Crossing, you don't have to hear her as intimately. Uh, and I made it so that she doesn't have to hear anything at all if she doesn't want to. But if I turn this up, then she can hear everything. And that's a little odd. So new new setup, new everything. Um, not really a new setup, just a better setup. Uh, we got a lot to do today. Um, and I'm getting used to this new setup. You're going to see me doing this a lot because this is where all of my fun stuff is at. Um, hello, welcome in. This is, a, this is the first time... Besides the spelling bee that I'm streaming at this time on a Saturday. So, welcome in. Hi, Mom. You're here now. That's a... It's very odd because uh, Sybil can't hear it all now. But if I did do this... She can. Hello, Queen. Hello, Julian. How are you doing? <laughs> We're we're having we're doing a review show. Are you here to hear my my hot takes on on the year's newest movies? Because that's what we're doing. I'll break it down for y'all real quick. Um, we're gonna be. Uh, oh shit, he's not here. He's by. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Fuck, I lost one. Fuck. No. Um, we got a lot going on. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh this fucking wild stuff on Twitch. That's going way too far uh that keeps happening uh then after that we're going to uh, make a tier list slash oscar predictions sort of for uh movies that have not come out yet uh fuck the 2022 oscars we're doing the 2023 oscars uh and then after that i am uh i am gonna get the entire five nights at freddy's fandom to hate me That's the plan for the day. <laughs> I have three monitors now, which I think is pretty neat. Um, oh, I'm not talking to you right now, Millie. She's screaming at me. You can see her over there, sort of. Right. There she is. She's right there. I'm pointing at her. She's gone now. I like that. I like the the double camera angle. I'm going to add another one, probably like right there. It'll be a GoPro. I have so much power. <laughs> I can do whatever I want, and none of it matters. <laughs> none of it really improves the quality of the streams. I also had a, a fucking fit earlier with uh, with uh, Premiere, not Premiere, with After Effects. So I made the whole outlay for this, this show um, in a hurry, mind you, but... After Effects did not want to work with me. And I'm very upset about it <laughs> because I I was trying to render out these things and the render every time I clicked the button, the render just went. Like it wasn't even trying. It was like the button didn't fucking work. So there's that was a pain in the ass. Um how's everybody else doing this Saturday evening? Everyone uh having a more relaxed day than me? Because I've been setting this whole shebang up. I should actually, what I should do is I should add a camera behind me. <laughs> just to have a camera behind me. Uh, let's, uh, let's talk about the most important news. The news that, that you uh, just vibing at work. Hell yeah. We got to talk about the, the news. And what news do we have today? The news today is... As you can see from the title, the Pokimane, Pokimane is, Pokimane's banned. Pokemon's gone. Pokemon, Pokemon is off the platform. She's she's gone forever. Uh, not actually though. Um, yeah, yeah. Pokemon got banned. She got a. I think it's it's 
it's supposed to be a one day ban, but I think it's a three day ban. Uh, for watching fucking Avatar The Last Airbender on stream. <laughs> Uh, which was a, a great option, very honestly, but um, fucking <laughs> a, a really bad choice because Viacom wants her dead. So what else do I got going on for us? Um, yeah, so uh, Avatar The Last Airbender and MasterChef are now no-goes. I'm so overwhelmed with all of these things around me. <laughs> this... Uh, yeah, I did it to myself. It's okay. Uh, and uh, I so yeah, yeah, yeah. So, fuck. So, Pokemon uh, is banned. Um, Hassan got a slap on the wrist for Master Chef. So, Viacom and Fox are are coming after everybody. Uh, I did make a video about this, not this specifically, but just the whole the whole TV meta, and it's just getting worse. I mean, even Greg started watching Fairy Tale on stream. I don't know why he did that. That wasn't me. I didn't tell him to do that. But I'm stalling. Um, we're going to move on to the very first thing that I actually have plans and, and not just the... Uh, not just the... Uh, uh, we're going to go through and we're going to uh, rate the movies for 2022 that haven't come out yet. Right? I'm going to go through meticulously one by one and we're going to look at these movies and I'm going to tell you whether or not they're going to be good. Uh, and we're going to watch these trailers because <laughs> I know nothing about half of these movies. Uh, if they have trailers, if they don't, then fuck, I, we'll do, I'll figure out what's going on with it. But let's, uh, let me let me get the first one up here. I don't see any Oscar winners here. That's because they haven't come out yet. Please. Please hold your opinions till the end. All right. Let's, uh... I need to get my... <laughs> All right, so first up, we have the Batman. Um, and I'll play the trailer for everybody. Only picks for vet best VFX production design and score. Yeah, you want to know something, Julian? This was I picked out of the top fifty of movies coming out this year. So let's watch this trailer, and I'll tell you. What oh my god! Bruce Wayne. I'm sorry. I wouldn't be bothering you here, but your people keep telling me you're unavailable. You know, you really could be doing more for this city. family has a history of philanthropy, but as far as I can tell, you're not doing anything. The Riddler is asking for you. The killer left this for the Batman. Why is he writing to you? You came. I've been trying. Riddler's latest. It's all about the Waynes. If we don't stand up, no one will. You got a lot of cats. I have a thing about strays. The bat and the cat. It's got a nice ring. You a new friend of yours? I'm not so sure. I'm just here to unmask the truth about this cesspool we call a city. You're part of this too. How am I a part of this? Oh, you're really not as smart as I thought you were. Bruce Way. All these years, you lied to me, Alfred. We all have our scars, Bruce. You're still away. This trailer is fucking so long. Oh, so he's not involved. How do you know? Except for Jelani. Who are you under there? What are you hiding? Selena, oh yeah. Throw your life away. Don't worry, honey. I got nine of them. Why are these trailers so fucking long? Hey, holy shit, cruel, man. Poetic or blind. But when it's denied, it's your violence you may find. Justice. The answer's justice. Come on. 
vengeance. Let's get into some trouble. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Oh no, we're getting into spoilers for later. Here are the most um, anticipated movies. No, 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 shut up. I don't want to listen to that. Uh, okay, so yeah, Julian, this one I I agree with you. This one is uh is a is a much different. <laughs> uh, I like the trailer you're playing now better than the last couple, but it shows too much. Uh I might disagree with you on that. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think it shows a uh, I think it shows a bit uh. It shows too much, but it also doesn't, like, tell me anything. Um, so, we, we got the Batman, all right? Um, it's uh, directed by Matt Reeves, and Robert Pattinson is the Batman. So, uh, normally, a Batman movie is pretty good, but since The Dark Knight Rises, uh, and before that and after that, Pretty much only The Dark Knight Rises are, are very good Batman movies. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and put it into C, and we might move it later, because I don't... In his second year fighting crime, Batman uncovers corruption in Gotham City that connects to his own family while facing a serial killer known as the Riddler. Um, I, I don't really like... Yeah, it's a C. Solid C. Uh, not an not an Oscar nominee, in my opinion, probably won't win shit. Uh, and uh, now we'll move on to the next one, which is um, one that might make Sybil very upset or maybe very, very happy. We'll find out. It's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. That's the next one. This trailer's also long as fuck, but hey, whatever. Let's go for it, right? By the way, I watched Spider Man, so I've seen this already. Oh, I knew sooner or later you'd show up. I made mistakes, and people were hurt. I'm not here to talk about Westview. Sick flex. Yeah. What I'm, I'm, here for? I'm, I'm one of help. the many people who saw that movie. With what? What do you know about the multiverse? Bacon, you're here. You Welcome. Understand. I'm gonna make people mad. The greatest threat Glad you made it. To our universe. Homie, homie just cut a train in half with air. Is you. Things just got out of hand. Hunter! Oh no, Hunter's here. <laughs> I'm absolutely going to make Hunter mad during this stream. <laughs> Welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> Multiverse of Madness, right? Or, stop playing. Uh, stop auto-playing things. I don't care. Uh, Multiverse of Madness, folks. Um, very honestly, this movie looks kind of cool. Um and and somebody posted a meme on uh on r slash movie circle jerk where somebody posted a picture of uh cumberbatch as normal doctor strange and uh and as the 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 bad doctor strange from the trailer and said the, the reason 
Benedict Cumberbatch is the only person to play this role is because of the range. And I thought that was fucking funny. Um, I think this might be a, did the, did the shirt get taken? This shirt did get taken down, but don't worry. I'll find a place to put it. Hunter, you don't have to lurk. I'd rather, I'd rather us have to duke it out. You know, I'd prefer it. I'd prefer it. Look, to be real with you, Hunter, I'd really, (laughs) I think, I think you'll I think you'll understand where I'm going with most of these, but some of these you might just not be too happy with, all right? So Okay, I would rank Batman maybe just slightly higher, but I've not been impressed by most of those trailers. That's kind of how I'm feeling currently. Uh so Multiverse of Madness. Um all the memes are really great so far, just of the fans. Uh the movie doesn't look too bad. Um, but seeing as this is a list of, of Oscar winners, um Marvel uh, can't seem to win anything, so it's going straight into C. (laughs) She had that ready. (laughs) She had that ready because I saw her go (laughs) and click her phone. (laughs) Oh, man. There's a lot more of these movies. Okay, so from here on out, there's like very little I know about Raimi is back. Is that Sam Raimi? That is Sam Raimi. All right, I'll move to B. (laughs) (laughs) It's not going to win an Oscar. There's no point to put it in S tier if it's not going to win anything. These are Oscar predictions. We're like these. Look, I'm trying to win, make y'all some money next year when people start betting on this shit. Okay, this is what we're doing. (laughs) It'll stay in B. Moving on. Yeah, this is Oscar predictions. (laughs) <laughs> it's okay it's all right it, it's a it's a it's a tier list but we're we're only ranking the i gotta go why <laughs> all right bacon we'll see you later i'm moving on to uh some stuff that i don't know anything about so uh the third movie on the list tonight is the north man um holy shit <laughs> it's this <laughs> This picture alone does not make me very confident. He's, <laughs> this is homie's <laughs> wearing a whole fucking Roman Roman go, no Viking outfit and has braces. <laughs> All right, well let's play the trailer. Well, I'm gonna pause for a second. Did you guys have you have you noticed this fucking thing happening a lot? Where they do they're doing the fucking YouTube thing. They're doing the fucking YouTube thing where they're like put like a put like a couple seconds of like some good stuff in there and then uh, start the whole thing over. So it's like four seconds of clips, names, and then the watch the uh, the Northman trailer. Watch it now. It's fucking dumb. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, a teaser for the trailer you're about to watch. It's fucking dumb. Already move. Already not doing well. He's here. He's here. Father, father is here. The king, my lady. The king. Your fate is set, and you cannot. Whoa! It. Is that Green Goblin? How <laughs> oh, I've missed you, my son. One day this kingdom will be yours. Thank you, father. My king. <laughs> Is that Florida Project? <laughs> A little cold for Florida. Bones. 
I have the cunning to break their minds. And night by night, we will carry out my pledge of vengeance. I will avenge you, father. I will avenge you, father. That was kind of badass. I, will save you, I like that. Mother. There he is. Oh, Anya Taylor Joy. Alexander Skarsgård. Nicole Kidman. Bjork. <laughs> Bjork's in this movie. Man, what a <laughs> what a star studded cast. Alright, we got <laughs> we got the how are we feeling about the North Man? Where is it on here? Which one is this one? Okay, it's over here. How are we feeling about the North Man? Um it's an action adventure drama, and people are saying that it's probably an Oscar bait movie, but I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. It looks like it. It looks like a generic action movie, but like a period piece. Which I guess, I guess they usually put up for like, like best visuals or or best like costume and makeup shit like that. Um. I don't, uh, would I see it? Probably not. Let's. I'll put it in B, right underneath. Uh, right underneath. Uh, Multiverse of Madness. I think that's where I'm putting it right now. Any any objections? Sybil's still mad about Multiverse of Madness. She's really looking forward to it for like the past three years. This is, what, this is how she feels. Um, look, I'm just being honest. It's, it's a, it's a B, B for, uh, for an Oscar movie. We'll move on to one that I really don't want to watch the trailer for, to be really honest with you. It's fucking, it's uncharted. Um, this is very, this is not, look, I'm going to tell you right now, we'll, we'll watch the trailer, but there's no way that this is an Oscar movie. Hey kid, I'm a little young for a bartender. This is this is to make money. They made this to make money. Everything in here. Why the map? It's the biggest treasure that's never been found. Five billion, easy. But it's just a story. Whoa, is this the plot to uh to One Piece? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Hundred years ago, my family found the world's biggest fortune. The I'm sorry. What? People have been searching for it all. Hey, Antonio Banderas? Both you turned to keys clockwise at the same time. Ah! Thanks a lot. You almost got me killed. Clockwise, Sully? Well, it was 50-50, so I made a guess. Clearly. But the voyage was not just about gold. It was something much more valuable. This girl has a very tragic history. So much blood. I'm pretty sure he just threatened to kill me. Oh, this is gonna suck. Don't get Julian is back. Welcome back. Antonio Banderas is a villain. Oh, okay, so he's the villain. February 18th. Guys, I've made that action title before. I'd back. I'm Dagwood. Oh, no. Brother believed that there was a final piece. Well, you know my brother said. You have no idea who you partnered with. What else aren't you telling me? The victor is Boyles. How are they gonna get them out of here? Yeah. Um, Put him down, boys. Oh. <laughs> what is that thing on your face? Yeah, puberty's right around the corner, kid. You can grow your own. Exclusively in movie theaters. What's wrong with that? Um, <clears throat> so, uh, Uncharted. Where is it? Right here. Uncharted. Uh, best picture right here. You know what? <laughs> uh, you know what they say? Video game movies always work out. Um, 
So I'm going to put it in dog shit because that's about how interested I am in seeing it. Airlifting a pirate ship kind of rules, though. Hold on. <laughs> they did that in Uncharted, I think, probably. I don't know. I've never played it. But hey, it's probably been done. There's no, re- there's no reason to get upset about it. Uh, if you want to airlift a pirate ship, I'm sure that... I really... I'm going to be really honest. I don't really know. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't played all of them, Michael. <laughs> I haven't played any of them, homie. I haven't played any of them. It's staying in dog shit. Um, you can watch them airlift a pirate ship in the trailer. Ever thought about that? <laughs> We're moving on. Um... And I'm going to tell you right now, the first like half of this is riddled with fucking sequels and I'm so upset about it, but we gotta, we gotta do what we gotta do. Oh, there's not, is there not a trailer for, oh, there is. Okay. Uh, the new scream. I'm going to go out on a limb and say anything pirate related is out, but for Hunter it's in (laughs) very true. All right. So we got the new, the new scream there. Is it a reboot? I think it's a reboot. 25 years after the original... No, it's not a reboot. 25 years after the original murders in Woodsboro, a new killer emerges, and Sidney Prescott must return to uncover the truth. Guys, (laughs) I I don't... I don't want to watch the trailer. (laughs) I don't want to watch the trailer for this one. (laughs) These trailers are too long. I don't want to watch this one. (laughs) Watch, okay... Should we do trailer number one or the one that says Scream? Just do it. Okay, we'll do trailer number one because that's how I'm feeling about it too. (sighs) Fuck, here we go. No, it's coming out this month. Hello? It's happening. Three attacks so far. Is it already out? Do you have a gun? I'm Sydney Prescott. Of course I have a gun. Something about this one just feels different. No. Next week. Let's try to guess the killer from the trailer. I know who you are. I've been through this. A lot. This is your life now, which means that whoever this is is going to keep coming for you. You ready for this? Never. Whoa. There's certain rules to surviving. The attacks were all on people who are the original killers. Whatever his link is to our past, it's pulled us all back here. I won't sleep until he's in the ground. Hello, Sydney. It's an honor. Okay, we made it through the whole trailer. Um, the killer's Jack Quaid. All right, so <laughs> that's it. That's my whole guest. What do you think? Between everybody in the movie, Sybil, is it Jack Quaid or literally anybody else? It's Jack Quaid. Um, for that, it goes in dog shit, and uh, we're moving on from it. Oh, no, I closed the tab with all the, with all the things on it. <gasps> okay, we're back. Uh, oh, what? 
Where's my list? Where's my list? All right, hold on, hold on. IMDb. I lost my list. We're back. Hunter's talking to you in the chat. The dad character, actually. <laughs> actually uh, the thing you don't know. Let's just knock more, knock out the Morbius trailer. I gotta go in order, all right? Or else I'm gonna get fucking lost. Yeah, okay, we'll do Morbius. I don't look. <laughs> Every time I go into a theater right now and the Morbius trailer plays, I want to fucking die. You <laughs> No, I want to watch it w and I want Michael to lose his mind. Are you talking about <laughs> you talking about Multiverse of Madness? No, I Morbius. Or Morbius. Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> this one's the longest trailer yet. This fucking blows. I'm so upset already. What about the Venom joke? I don't care about the Venom joke. Jared Leto's a certified fucking psychopath. <laughs> Why did they give him a role? All right. Here we go. Oh, is this... Is this one of those pre-trailer trailers? Yep. <laughs> Fuck. You need a doctor? <laughs> I am a doctor. <laughs> Desert King Jude Little. Years ago. I hate this. People all over the world have my disease. I'm here. To find a cure, we have to push the boundaries, take the risks. Yeah, I am I am actively deducting run. points for trailer yeah. teasers. It's only right. Oh no, Batman! He's just vampire Dr. Stranger. Okay. Dr. Interesting Michael take. Morbius, you've been missing for two months. When you're a stranger. Then you were found on a container ship that washed up off a long Why is, <laughs> Why is this allowed? Doctor. What did you do to yourself, Doctor? I wish I knew. I went from dying to being more alive than ever. It worked. Not exactly. I have it, increased strength and speed in some form of bat radar. This fucking hurts. <laughs> what else can I do? <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> He's fucking flying in the fucking subway. There's something inside of me. That's great, but Jared Leto creeps me out. And consume blood. No, I don't want to watch this. <laughs> no, he looks like a fucking monster from a 1980s sci-fi movie. I don't know. Half the city wants to kill you. Don't you love that Leto smolder? No! <laughs> Jared Leto's not hot now. other half wants to control you. Oh, what? Matt Smith, never mind. A tier. <laughs> No. <laughs> I'd do anything to save a life. But I don't know what I'm capable of. <laughs> he loves to give it to you. That's gross. You save lives, <laughs> you don't take them. Are you here to heal the world? Or to destroy it? Yeah, okay. Michael Keaton will give a couple points. Here's the thing. Oh, sorry. There's there's still trailer happening. And I know. I'm just kidding. It's Dr. Michael Morbius at your service. <sighs> Morbius. Um, here's the deal. The trailer uh tells me absolutely nothing. Um, it, it doesn't tell me anything about the plot. It just says, hey, look at this guy. He's supposed to be a good guy, but sometimes he's a bad guy. What what will happen next? And that's uh, when... when I don't know. <laughs> he has vamp power. Yeah, I, I get that he has vampire powers. I get that it's being very clear to the comics. 
But let's be real here. The comics can take as long as they want to talk about a story. Movies got an hour and a half, two hours. It got canceled. <laughs> because it needed more action because it was too slow. And guess what? That's exactly what the, they're going to say about the movie too. So, uh, Morbius, um, get the fuck out of my face, your dog shit tear. All right, it can go to C tier. Man versus himself, chode, and that's why it's a joke. And he made a joke about being Venom, and he's not Venom. The biggest joke here about Morbius is that um, is that DC decided that Jared Leto wasn't good enough, <laughs> and so he just went to Marvel to what's gonna probably be the worst Marvel movie that ever comes out. Did Sony do this one? Okay, then I absolutely am standing by this opinion. <laughs> it's going to be... Sybil is in it for Leto Abs. She's in it for Matt Smith. That makes sense. Okay, um, so far nothing has breached the A and S tier for me. Uh, and to be very honest, the only one that has come close to me being interested in it is Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> but now we're moving on to a very a classic and everybody did I actually put this one on the list please tell me I did oh no I don't think it's on the list alright well we're skipping death on the Nile <laughs> the Kenneth Branagh movie that uh, will likely make it into the Oscars with for nominations but will probably not make it further than that it's got it's it's every single Kenneth Branagh movie that's ever existed. I'll move it over here. We can look at it together. It's uh, Kenneth Branagh with uh, with a big ass mustache, playing the uh, the guy who figures it all out, and a bunch of fucking stars that nobody's ever thought to put together for no reason at all. <laughs> that's it. Russell Brand's in this one. That's pretty fun. Army Hammer, that's cool. Gal Gadot. Someone didn't see Tenet. What do you mean I didn't see? I saw Tenet. You didn't see Tenet. Fuck you. Next one, Killers of the Flower Moon. Whoa. <laughs> I, I don't think they have a trailer for this one. <laughs> so we're just going to have to look it up, you know? You know, it starts like Tom Bateman. Shut up. <laughs> All right. Uh, members of the Os Osage tribe in the United States are murdered under mysterious circumstances in the 1920s, sparking a major FBI investigation involving J. Edgar Hoover. Yeah. It is directed by Martin Scorsese. Uh, it's going to have Leo in it. It's got De Niro in it. It's probably got all the other people that, uh, that uh, Scorsese always has in it. This is a very obviously an Oscar bait movie. And um, and if nothing else told you that, um, Martin Scorsese should have. Why does Cruz look like he's passing a goose through his bowels? <laughs> <We're> <laughs> Dumb pun. Uh, I don't... We, we got photos. We can look at the photos of this and, and try to decipher. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is getting old, so that's cool. Uh, it's a period piece. It's historical... Uh, it's a historical movie, probably historical fiction. Brendan Fraser and Pat Healy are in it. You want to know something else that's pretty wild? Something that everybody else is who is who's good with the stream knows. This is the one that MJ helped with. This is the one that MJ helped with. Uh, with that being said. Uh, it looks cool. Uh, the last couple of Scorsese movies, I wasn't really vibing with too much, but this is probably this. This looks kind of different. It's not New York, and it's not uh, the mob. Um, so for that, I'm going to give Killers of the Flower Moon wherever it it ended up. There it is. Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna put it in A. I think it is also based off of a book. Next up. We've got Fantastic Beasts, 
It's the secrets of Dumbledore. <laughs> I know what everybody was thinking. I know I was thinking it too. Don't worry. I'll say it. I'll say it for all of us. You know what I really miss about Harry Potter? I miss having more of it. And my God, if I just need someone to fucking rush some scripts and some fucking loose plot holes and, you know, maybe retcon a couple of uh, of characters' uh, uh, gender and personalities and, and preferences um, so that we can enjoy uh, shitty fanfic written by the original author. <laughs> Let's watch this trailer. Here we go. God, I'm so excited. Carefully enough. The oh, golden snitch. Is Dumbledore there? He was. We're here to see Albus Dumbledore. That would be my brother. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> I, is anybody else thrown off by that? Those. We're here to see Albus Dumbledore. He's my brother. <laughs> this is the most Western accent. We're only we're only twenty seconds in. I love that the last part got panned in so far. <laughs> this one, yes, yes. Grindelwald's pulling. I agree with the bond. If we're to defeat him, you'll have to trust me. <laughs> Let's go back to what you already know. Oh, there he is. It's Edward Redmond. <laughs> This is the team that's going to take down the most dangerous wizard in over a century. A magic zoologist, his indispensable assistant. A wizard descended from a very old family, a school teacher, and a muggle. Dumbledore asked I. So, what are we? Some kind of suicide squad? <laughs> give you something are you kidding me right now who wouldn't like our chances have to save the world Owen. <clears throat> they are ignoring so many awful things dumbledore did at that time that are canon and instead made him hot and heroic and erotic does Dumbledore get to kiss a man? Probably. <laughs> Eric said, hope they eat beans on toast. Yeah. Everybody except for Dumbledore's brother, because he's a cowboy. <laughs> From that accent. I'm not over it. Jude, Jude Law is here. daddy. Okay. Whoa. Swivel, but delicately. I'm swiveling at your swiveling. The old reverse Kevin Spacey treatment. Oh, God. You're out of line for that one. Our war with the muckles <laughs> begins today! What is this place? The room we require. It's the room where it happens. <laughs> Correct. Three points to Hufflepuff. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh. Can I? Mm -mm. Very dangerous. Forgotten wrong hands. Mess you up. Where did you get it? We got it for Christmas. All right, I'm going to have to I'm going to actually have to read the the plot summary for this. Where is it? Oh, okay, this tells me a lot. It's it's the third installment of the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them series, which follows the adventures of Newt Scamander. Please tell me the plot summary. There's uh, do we not know anything about this fucking movie? Oh no, that's so scary. <laughs> That's such a bad look. Oh, no. All we know is what was in there, which is... it's Look, 
they play all the hits, Michael. I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> he really feels, you know what this feels like to me? It feels like National Treasure, but with wizards. <laughs> Just replace Eddie Redmayne with Nicolas Cage and it's S tier. Um, uh, because there's too much, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna leave this one up to y'all. I'm gonna leave it up to you. Just do the thing. <laughs> but again, where it go, you guys get to vote. S A B C. Uh, bad. It's a one minute vote. You guys just go for it. <laughs> you putting it in dog shit. Everyone's saying dog shit. Look, I feel bad just throwing it into dog shit, okay? All right? There's so many movies that I've just been throwing into dog shit. So I'll put it into dog shit. And we'll move on to a movie that, a movie that I genuinely have absolutely no idea what it is. The 355. Uh, from the studio that brought you Jason Bourne. This is an uh, action thriller. When a top-secret weapon falls into mercenary hands, a wild-card CIA agent joins forces with three international agents on a lethal mission to retrieve it, while staying a step ahead of a mysterious woman who's tracking their every move. Don't watch the trailer. Just put it right into dog shit. I just voted instantly after joining the chat. I have no idea what's going on. Kenny, you put, <laughs> Kenny did you put it in S tier? <laughs> and then Eric says, Jesus Christ, it's the studio that brought you Jason Bourne. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, Julian, we're watching the trailer. You forced me to watch Morbius. I'm forcing you to watch this. Remember that story that they told us about in training? Oh, okay. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you. About George Washington's first female spy during the revolution. They called her Agent 355 because they didn't want the world to know her real name. But her legacy lives on. We're the top agents from around the world American, British, German, Colombian, Chinese. But now we have a common enemy. They can start All right, I'm yeah, I'm gonna cut this one short. This this feels like and and okay, I'm I'm gonna feel confident saying this. Okay, I think I think I did see this trailer and I blocked it out of my head. This feels like to me, and 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 feel like you need to hate me if you have to. Um, this is going to go into dog shit. This is a money grab. Three years too late. Yeah, it feels like to me like a half-assed attempt to be like. It's an action movie, but with women in it. It's like a shitty Charlie's Angels. Ocean's 8 double bill. Yeah, this is exactly what it feels like. And and Hollywood really needs to stop doing this shit where they're throwing women into like half-baked movies that aren't written well because they want to cash in on on uh, uh, the whole feminist thing and so that they can keep on saying that they keep on making movies with women in it. Make good fucking movies and cast people in it. Just cast women in good roles. <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> Make good movies and cast people in it. You don't have to go. Uh, what if we made? Uh, what if we made? Uh, uh, what, <laughs> what's the? What if we made the A team, but with women? It's like that. It, that shouldn't be a thought. Just make a. Just make a good movie. <laughs> Widows was an excellent <laughs> women-centered film. Sure, it sounds like it, homie. I don't know if I don't know if that's true or not. I have I have no idea what that is. Uh, we're not going to watch the rest of that. I would feel putting I'd feel bad putting that anywhere else, but dog shit. So we're putting in dog shit. Widows Fox. You know what? I'll I'll add it to a list of good things. I'm being a hundred percent. Okay, okay, okay. The that's the problem with Hollywood right now. To begin with, they make movies for the sake of representation. They don't care about the quality of the movie. Yeah, watch the trailer. For, we're not talking about Widows, Julian. But we're gonna watch it anyway because I think you're I think you're right. We should. Widows trailer. There's headache medicine in the cabinet. 
When did this come out? 2018. Let's pop it up here. You have no idea, do you? Or did you choose not to know? Your husband stole $2 million from me. This is about my life. This is about my life. And because it's about my life, it now becomes about yours. Okay. Something this is good. Something bad. This bodes well. Mr. Mulligan, your family's been involved in Harry's life for many years. I need help. I don't see what I can do. Our husbands aren't coming back. We're on our own. My husband left me the plans for his next job. All I need is a crew to pull it off. Why should we trust you anyway? Because I'm the only one standing between you and a bullet in your head. That's what I've learned from men like your late husband and my father. Is that you reap what you sow. Let's hope so. This is for guns. Guns? From where? Figure it out. If this whole thing goes wrong, I want my kids to know that I didn't just sit there and take it. I did something. Now the best thing we have going for us is being who we are. Why? Because no one thinks we have the balls to pull this off. Oh, I cut off like a quarter of the trailer for you guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, that looks like a solid movie. I probably, by seeing uh, the people who were in it, I probably would have gone to see it, but not because I think it sounded interesting. Uh, yeah, Viola. Viola Davis is a top tier actress. I fucking love her. She's so good at everything that she does. It makes me so upset <laughs> in a good way. Not, not like I'm mad at her. All right. What's next on this fucking list? We got. <sighs> she does. It's not like nobody else. True. Uh, next up, we got Thor. Love and Thunder. Um, there's currently no information. <laughs> And it's in post-production, which is odd. They usually have a trailer by now. I don't like, I don't like how they do that. I think they need to do, like, all that we have are, like, Comic-Con pictures. Um, but that being said, Taika is directing it. And I love Taika. I love Taika so much. Oh, um, maybe it got canned since Taika was kissing on the hose. No, I'm saying <laughs> probably a tier. I agree. I agree. But we have to stick to the Oscar rules and the Oscar rules are if it comes from Marvel, it's not getting nominated. So we'll put it up here in B tier <laughs> because it might get nominated, but it's not going to, it's not going to win. Hey, Relly, Welcome. We're talking about movies. Next up, we're just going to get through a couple of these uh, these next few that I don't want to look at because <laughs> this stream's going to take for fucking ever <laughs> if I keep going this way. I'm going to run more ads real quick as well. I hope nobody minds. Um. Okay. Great. Here we go. This is The Lost City. Did I put this in here? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. 
Uh, the Lost City is a re uh, reclusive romance novelist on a book tour with her cover model gets swept up in a kidnapping attempt that lands them both in a cutthroat jungle adventure. Uh, it's got Sandra Bullock, Daniel Radcliffe, and Brad Pitt in it. And fucking Channing Tatum. Uh, I... Yeah. Goodbye, Kenny. You're not missing out on much at the moment. <laughs> Let's just let's just watch a bit of this trailer. I got a good feeling about this one, you know. I was about to say, I was honest to God, Eric. I thought this was a sequel to the the more recent um, the the Door of the Explorer movies, <laughs> and it's not. So I'm very confused. You led me straight to the lost city. Now prepare to die. There were just hundreds of snakes in this temple. Just it's already so bad. What? Why aren't they biting that guy? This is ridiculous. Delete. 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 Oh. Wow. No, this is this is Listen, awful. Loretta, we need you to promote your new book on the lost city. You can't spend your life in the bathtub drinking Chardonnay with eyes. Dora in the lost city of gold. Yeah, okay, okay. This is why I'm getting confused. You do know you're not Dash, right? Dash is a character I made up. Dash. I, I, Oh my god. Oh, wait. Hold on a moment. Miss Sage, I enjoyed your book about the lost city, and I believe. Hold on a minute. Help me find its treasure. I have to respectfully decline. I'm afraid I must insist. Unchain me! That's your seatbelt. Loretta Sage is missing. I'm gonna rescue her. I just want her to think of me as more than a cover model. Let's start living dangerously. Oh. Alan, what are you doing here? We're here to save you. I'm certified CPR. Oh. I'm certified CrossFit. Oh, oh. I have snacks. Off to them. Oh. All right. Okay. This is like I don't want to. I don't want to watch more of the trailer. But dog ship for the sake of variety. D tier. No, 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 hear me out. There's two ways this could go from watching the trailer. The first way it could take itself way too seriously and and inject too much fake comedy uh, and be absolute fucking shit. Or, or it could be really fucking funny. Yeah, yeah. I, I from watching a bit of like the jokes that they're putting in, into the trailer, they could either be putting all of the decent jokes into the trailer. But I think it might be very satirical. I it it feels it feels like they know what they're doing. What is what is the the writer? The writers. What have they done? Okay, so nothing great so far. <laughs> what about Dana Fox? I know Dana Fox has written some stuff. <sighs> okay, nothing great. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing great either. And then Adam Nee. <laughs> So moving on <laughs> to what's next? Did I put this one in here? Jurassic World Domination. Dom, oh no, Dom, Dom, Dominion. Jurassic World Dominion. Did the fucking five minute trailer? <laughs> I'm no, <laughs> no. Plot kept under wraps. That's what it says. You know what that means? That means it's bad. We're put uh, for the. Uh, we're putting in B tier. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't look at that. <laughs> Jurassic World Dominatrix. I like it. That's very funny. Very good. Uh, next up, we have um, the um, the most fucking highly anticipated movie of the fucking decade, Avatar Two. Guys. I know you've been missing Pandora. Me too. I really want to know what happens to and the uh and the other character. It's not coming out this year. Why are you saying it's not coming out this year? It clearly says right here 2022. You can't convince me. <laughs> well, Hunter, all your favorite characters are coming back. Like, R Ronal, 
or Dr. Corinna Moog or Natiri. Sigourney Weaver's there without a name. <laughs> Sam Worthington's back is Jake Soley. We got uh, and, and Moat and Young Lawak and Varu. All of all of your favorites. They're all here. And and we don't have a trailer. <laughs> we have this. <laughs> this is this is all we know. This is all we know about this movie. <laughs> and I think I think this is this is the best representation of how I feel like this movie's gonna turn out. Holy shit. <laughs> this is important. Oh my god. I'm saving this picture. I'm saving this picture and I'm and <laughs> I'm making it into a thing. Where is it? Where is this? <laughs> Fucking hell man, this is this is this is so funny. Oh, I need to take a screenshot. Oh, you want to hear Hunter rant? Hunter, do you actually want to rant? I'll hop into Discord. You can rant. This this is uh, the fact that they're making another one is is such a blatant blatant cash tra- grab. And I can't. It's just so it's so bad. Avatar. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um <clears throat> No, no, I'll do it after I do a proper Avatar rewatch. Okay, great. Oh, what other fun pictures do we have? Oh, yeah, it's it's everybody in a ball pit. <laughs> There's everyone who got... Everybody who is going to get paid for this movie. Oh, my God. Is that a real poster? You're You're joking. <laughs> Sigourney Weaver's Dr. Grace Augustine doubting the original and I think she I don't and I think she plays a tree. Hell yeah. This looks like we made that in the booth as a joke. It absolutely does. It it looks so fake. It looks so fake. You have a serious question. Go ahead, Riley. What's your serious question? This is this is on the IMDb page. It's real. I don't. <laughs> everything about this movie is a fucking joke. Like that. Like that makes sense. That's 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 okay looking. It looks like uh, it looks like Logan Paul merch. But that's cool. Put <laughs> Pyrus and water is evocative, and only James Cameron would know that. Let me look up Jake Paul merch. Oh, no, no. Logan Paul. Logan Paul merch. Tell me you see a difference between... I need a good one. Tell me you see a thematic difference between this and this. There's no difference. Uh, <clears throat> we have dwelled on Avatar for way too long. Um, Avatar is going to go in C tier, right above Morbius, because now the uh, the initials uh, say "Bam." I honestly thought it was one of those Pokemon team shirts. Yeah. Uh, Relly asks, "When are you going to play? Oh, when are we going to take play Hot Take again?" So Relly. The hot take is coming back on Tuesday, but it's in a different form, and you'll see what I mean on Tuesday. Because both Hunter and Julian will be playing in that one. Just so that we can all get to know the new one. It'll probably be better than C tier. What do you mean it'll probably be better than C tier? No, that movie's gonna this movie's actually gonna be trash. Uh we got the flash. Uh, the plot is unknown. Feature film based on the comic book Hero of the Flash. And it's got Ben Affleck, Michael Keaton, Michael Shannon, and Te- Tamora Morrison. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and throw that in here. And we'll uh, we'll move on to the next one. 
Uh, we're not going to talk about Top Gun because Jesus Christ. Uh, we're not going to talk about Hotel Transylvania, Transformania. Uh, instead, we're going to skip to Moonfall. Because I like me a good space movie. He's good at sequels. I'll give James Cameron a chance, even though I am beyond uninterested. Very true. Boba Fett question mark? No. Just put what in dog shit? Moonfall? I'm not going to put Moonfall in dog shit. I haven't looked at it yet. It's a disaster film? Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on a goddamn second. I got to Look. I, as a movie critic, okay, I have to do my due diligence. And we have, and we have to look into it, right? We got to give it a chance, okay? The poster says, in 2022, humanity will face the dark side of the moon. And they have to kill. Oh, okay. So it's, it's, uh, it's uh, Majora's Mask. Moon Man. Kill the moon. So in Moonfall, uh, in Moonfall, a mysterious force knocks the moon from its orbit around the Earth and sends it hurling into a collision course with life as we know it. With mere weeks before impact and the world on the brink of annihilation, NASA executive and former astronaut Joe Fowler is convinced that she has the key to saving us all. But only one astronaut from her past, Brian Harper, has and a conspiracy theorist, C.K. Hausman, believe her. These unlikely heroes will mount an impossible last-ditch mission into space, leaving behind everyone they love, only to find out that our moon is not what we think it is. Majora's Mask directed by the man that had Will Smith punch an alien. Fuck yeah, let's watch this fucking trailer. I'm pumped. If you're watching this thing, you know by now a huge problem is heading our way. An emergency meeting is being called at our usual place. Oh my god. Immediately. Shocking discovery. I needed to get me in touch with NASA immediately. Well, NASA and I aren't really on speaking terms these days. Oh, well, that'll change. I have seen this trailer. Tell them that the moon is out of. I orbit. have seen this trailer. Whoa, he's directed so many good movies. Why are they lying about all this? It's too late to stop. You knew all this was happening before NASA. You are the unidentified source? Oh, yes. We're dealing with an intelligent... Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's aliens. It's it, like, it's a classic alien movie, right? It's aliens. It's space. It's a fucking... It's 2012 all over again. Um, we'd be so lucky... Brian, what are you doing? ...for humanity to be wiped out by a giant fucking moon explosion. Um... I don't know. Fuck it. Throw it. Throw it into B. Throw it into B tier. I don't care at this point. What's next? Um, at this point, I I tried to to knock away all of the fucking sequels, and there's a lot of them. But Sybil made me. Sybil made me include Spider Man across the Spider Verse. Michael, if you don't watch the whole goddamn trailer, make me, bitch. <laughs> We're doing Spider-Man now. S-tier, easy clap. This, hey, no, you gotta remember. This is this is for Oscars. Miles Morales returns for the next chapter of the Oscar-winning Spoken. <laughs> Assholes. An epic adventure that will transport Brooklyn's full-time friendly neighborhood Spider-Man across the multiverse to join forces with Gwen Stacy and a new team of Spider-People to face off a villain more powerful than anything they have ever account encountered. Yeah, part one. Apparently there's going to be two parts or more. We'll watch it. We'll watch it. Every 
Got a minute? Oh! What? Whoa, Gwen, how did, how did she... How, how did you get... How have you been? Uh, it's a long story. Is this the room you grew up in? Uh, it, it is. But uh, my, my dorm room is very adult. Right. No, of course. Hey, are these your drawings? What? No, oh, no. good. <sighs> I missed you, too. Okay. So, what are you doing here? I, I mean, I, I thought I'd never see you again. Wanna get out of here? I grounded. Bummer. What? Is Spider-Man grounded? Uh, I mean, I... Yeah, so far this one's looking like a uh, movie of the year. Uh, there have been countless incarnations of Spider-Man. Oh God. Um, yeah, I already moved into S tier. Um, it is it is unfortunate that I'm having to call this this soon. Um, I'm so sad that they're giving the Oscar to... What is, it, what is that one? What is this? No, no, no. I'm so sad that they're going to give the Oscar to Turning Red instead of this um with that let's move on to the next one turning red <laughs> giving it to morbius god damn it i'll be so mad we don't know to oh wait there's trailers okay good um this is the next disney pixar movie called turning red it's a 13 year old girl named may lee turns into a giant red panda whenever she gets too excited it is I'm going to I'm going to be very honest. I I I don't know anything about this movie except for that. Um and It's Pixar. So like we know it's going to be good, but my god, is this the worst fucking idea I've ever heard in my life? <laughs> Let's watch the trailer. <laughs> Let's go. I'm Maylin Lee. I wear what I want, say what I want, 24-7, 365. I know, it's a lot. But I don't got time to mess around. Oh, about the hustle, am I right? Poor town. This is gonna be the best year ever. And nothing's gonna get in my way. Breakfast is ready. It's coming. It's gonna be me. Ah! Is everything okay? I'm a gross red monster. Don't look at me. Stay back. This happened already? What did you say? Our ancestors had a mystical red connection panda with fake red pandas. Are you kidding me? True. This little quirk True. brought us in our family. Oh, oh. Ah, you're so cute. 
sick. I've always wanted a tail. I'm a freak. We love you, May. You're our girl. <sighs> Whoa. You're you. Any strong emotion. Yes. Will release the panda. Abby, hit me. <laughs> this is actually a metaphor for communism. Oh. It's true. Do you know how dangerous this is? You'll get whipped up into a frenzy and panda all over. <laughs> I've been perfect little no, 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 no. Mei Mei. We don't, we don't even. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is actually, uh, <laughs> this is actually a, uh, a representation of uh, what happens when a 13-year-old watches too much Hassan and starts to try to spread communist beliefs to uh, their classmates. Finally, a film for, a Pixar film for... <laughs> No, <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, <clears throat> um, holy shit! All right, so we all know we all know the Pixar like thing, right? Where where it's like, oh, what if toys had feelings? What if fish had feelings? What if emotions had feelings? Uh, this one, what is this one? What if teenage girls had feelings? Is that what this one is? Or are they like trying to branch out of the norm? Because I'm going to be really honest, some of the best movies in existence are Pixar films. Like, they are the formula. And if they're trying to, to fix all of this and, like, do something different, I'm mad. Um, this better be a fucking banger of a movie, and it better be a sleeper. But holy fuck, is this trailer so bad? I'm, I'm, I, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it at the top of dog shit. I feel like that's fair. That's my... Oh, but it's... Oh, no. It's, I got to put it in, like, high C. Because they're going to... It's going to be nominated either way. Fuck, man. Fuck. It's not fun at all. I don't like this. <laughs> What's next? What's the next one? Okay, okay. Here we go. High C. Yeah, not the fruit punch, unfortunately. All right, next up we have Don't Worry, Darling. Directed by Olivia Wilde. Uh, a 1950s housewife living with her husband in a utopian experimental community begins to worry that his glamorous company may be hiding some disturbing secret secrets. Just the orange. Oh, you want me to put high C on there? Um... Is that really all we know about this? Holy shit. That's not good. <laughs> uh, is there a plot summary? Cool. All right. So I'm going to have to use some fucking... Uh, some head-ass stuff. Yeah, I think they just got done filming. Oh, okay, okay. But we don't know anything about the plot. Like, they're not saying anything about the plot. They finished, uh, it's expected September 23rd, 2020. Okay, 22. It's got Olivia Wilde, Florence Pugh. Someone was credited as a cigarette girl. Where is that at? Yeah, yeah. Um, fuck. This one's a hard read. Um, Harry Styles is in it. Chris Pine is in it. Nick Kroll. Oh, God, that's a weird choice with the others. Nick Kroll is in it. Why not? <laughs> what do you mean, why not? <laughs> I'm not a very huge Nick Kroll fan. Um, I bet Nick Kroll plays a sarcastic little booger. You know what? You might be right. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it mid B tier. That's my, that's my bet. All right. <sighs> There's still so many left. Why shouldn't there be a cigarette girl in all movies? You know what, Hunter? You're correct. Somebody clipped this. Mark my words. The next movie I make, there will be somebody, some girl, with a cigarette. And she will be credited as cigarette girl. You can clip this now. Next up, 
We're skipping Black Adam because I felt like there were too many superhero movies. And we're moving on to the one I'm most excited about. Sonic the Hedgehog 2, baby. They did it again. We're doing it. We're, we're doing it again, baby. Let's fucking go. Yes. Yes. Ben Schwartz is back as Sonic. Idris Elba as Knuckles. Colleen O'Shaughnessy, the person who actually voices Tails, playing Tails. Tony, thank you for the raid. And the alerts are working. Lower your defenses. You've been... Re oh, no. Oh, no. Everybody <laughs> bonk them, but with acceptance. Bonk, bonk the raiders with acceptance. It's an acceptance bonk. Please take our bonks as, as a form of, of kindness. Uh, I could be a I could be a real asshole and just run ads right now, but I'm not gonna do that because <laughs> that would suck. You're right in time. We're about to watch the trailer for what's gonna be the movie of the year this year. Quick stretch, little snack, and here we go. Hello, Allie. Sonic, I love that you want to help make a difference. Mind if I drive? No. But you're being reckless. Don't worry, nobody's gonna get hurt. Pretending to be Batman. Blue Justice, trademark pending. You're still just a kid. Trust me, there will come a moment when your powers will be needed. <laughs> but you don't choose that moment. That moment chooses you. I just got goosebumps. Wait a second, did you steal that from Oprah? Papa's got a brand new stash. Since I've been gone, I've discovered the source of ultimate power. That sounds big. It's been on my vision board for years. Hope I'm not too late. I'm sorry, who are you? Name's Tails. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Step one, light taunting. Step two, I have no idea. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Today's forecast calls for a 100% chance of adventure. <laughs> Return to sender. Face it, you're never going to get my power. Do I look like I need your power? Where are my manners? Sonic, meet Knuckles. Next up, <clears throat> rated R. <laughs> Next up, we're not talking about Sing 2. I skipped it. I skipped it very intentionally. Next up, we got Redeeming Love. A beautiful story sold into... Oh, as a child, Angel knows nothing but betrayal. Can her heart ever be mended? Based on the novel by Francine Rivers. Should we even watch the trailer for this one? No, I put it in here. We got to watch the trailer for this one. We're going to watch the trailer. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm sorry we're doing this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's hop on one of those ships and sail away. That sounds nice. Babe! 
<laughs> it's a bunker synopsis, yeah. That company. Why don't you think about where we would go? Far, far away from here. Come on, show me a ticket. One more charm, man. Oh. I was just thinking about my mother. What was she like? Beautiful. Shattered. You are not here. Who is she? That's Angel. Finest girl west of the Rockies. I have to meet her. You are not holding. It's your pleasure, mister. The truth is, uh, I didn't come here for, for that. You have been broken, your innocence stolen. Then you're gonna marry me. Take me away from here, give me the life I deserve. Mm -hmm. I hear the whisper. Do not give way to such feelings as these. They will ruin your happiness. I give you. Someone said, give why that dude look like Jack Septicai? It's so true. You you Top of the morning to you, ladies. I'm here to save you from trafficking. Oh God! She does not love you. She is using you. You have no idea who she is. Directed by the Foley Brothers. <laughs> is that a line? That's out of line. That's out of pocket. Stop thinking that I'm gonna be something that I'm not. That way is home. Your <laughs> choice. Redeeming love. Oh, it's coming out soon. We can all go see it together. Um, let me give you guys let me give you guys uh red flags for movie trailers, all right? Period piece. Uh slow pop ballad. Modern hair. <laughs> Based on a smut novel novel. It's based on the. It's based on a novel by Francine Rivers. A movie about periods. Gross. <laughs> I don't trust soon. I don't either. But it's supposed to come out January. <laughs> huh? The main actress is Abigail Cohen. And Jack Septicai as Tom Lewis. <laughs> or Tom Lewis. No, I don't remember the Winx Club. <laughs> what are you? Why are you asking me that question? I didn't know of the Winx Club, but like I wouldn't know. Yes. Oh no. <sighs> I'll just throw in the dog shit and we'll move on. Yeah. Everyone okay with that? We're okay with moving it to dog shit and moving on. This next one. <laughs> this next one. Guys. The unbearable weight of massive talent. This is a... Uh, <clears throat> I heard a gritty remake of The Buttercream Gang is coming out soon, directed by Christopher Nolan. Very fun. My struggle, my struggle, TBH. Yeah, true. Me too. Uh, this movie is about me. It's actually, <laughs> this movie is actually about Nicolas Cage. And I think that that is fucking hilarious that Nicolas Cage is playing himself in a movie. It's a, a, a cash-strapped Nicolas Cage agrees to make a paid appearance at a billionaire fan's birthday party, but is really an informant for the CIA since the billionaire fan is a king drug pin or drug kingpin that gets cast in a Tarantino movie. <laughs> what the fuck is what the fuck is this movie about? I'm so excited. I'm in. 
Nick, you've been living at the Sunset Tower for over a year. They love having me there. You owe them $600,000. Okay, I'm gonna deal with all that. But I'm gonna get this next wrong. And when I do, all of that changes. Then I'm back. Not that you went anywhere. Nicholas Cage, oh my God. I love you. <laughs> he was so good in The Rock. What about Gone in 60 Seconds? Have you seen Croods 2? No, I'm 44 years old. Why would I see Croods 2? I've seen Face Off and Con Air. We got another offer. What's it about? You head to Southern Spain and you attend a wealthy gentleman's birthday party. I would never do that. It's a million bucks, Nick. I'll take it. The guy that owns this house, what's his name? Javi. Yeah, Javi. Mr. K. Excuse me, is Javi going to want me to, uh, you know? I'm not sure I understand. Look, it's Javi. I am Javi. Nick Cage. Nicholas Cage? No! That's freaking cool. I am so happy that you're here. Is this supposed to be me? It's grotesque. I'll give you 20,000 for it. What have you got there? Divine inspiration. I'm paranoid. Let's just get up on the count of three and run. They're coming! Grab my hand. You're heavier than you look. I have a very big head. All right, I get I get the point. Um, <clears throat> This movie is going to be a fucking banger. And it's going to be a shit ton of fun. And I'm so fucking excited to watch this movie. It's going into A tier. Actually, it's going to go above the, the Scorsese movie. This movie is going to be fucking awesome. I'm so excited. We've got one, two, three, four, five more. These two I want to save for last. Uh, let's go ahead and get these two out of the way. Okay. So we'll do we'll do the fucking Buzz Lightyear movie. Uh the Buzz Lightyear movie, the story of Buzz Lightyear and his adventures to infinity and beyond with Chris Evans playing Buzz. Ugh. Go, Fido. Go. Go, Fido. Cabin pressurization is underway as we prepare for ignition. Flight recorders are on. T minus five, four, three, two, one, zero. We have lift off. No, Tim Allen. I agree. I'm out too. They did him dirty. I know he got canceled. I cancel them. what to infinity and what <sighs> i'm just gonna put it in <sighs> i'm gonna put it in b tier and call it a night on that one let's do this one guillermo del toro is making a pinocchio movie um and there's not very much about it it's just a darker version of pinocchio beyond meat to infinity and beyond meat. We've got fun things like this. That's cool. Um, it's Guillermo del Toro. I mean, it's probably it's probably going to be pretty good. Uh, so that was an easy one. We'll put it up here in A tier. 
Except I'm not excited for it, so we'll put it in B tier. Great. We got three more. It's great. I need I need a I need a ooh, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Oh, I skipped over this earlier. This next one is an action biography drama, The Sound of Freedom. The story of Tim Ballard, a former U.S. government agent who quits his job in order to devote his life to rescuing children from global bad people. Uh, this one is this one looks like it's a it's an like an Oscar piece. Uh, so it's probably going to make it into the Oscars. So let's check it out. Unless it's just really bad. Jesus is in it. Oh no. Is he really? I don't think I can do this job, Tim. As soon as I lay down, all you see are those kids' faces. How long you been doing this? Twelve years. How do you do it? It is the fastest growing international crime network that the world has ever seen. It has already passed the illegal arms trade, and soon it's going to pass the drug trade. Senor Timoteo, tu rescate niños, verdad? All right, all right. I get, I get it. I got it from the plot synopsis. Look, it's going to be sad. It's also probably going to be really good. It's it's one of those like like no one wants to watch the big short, but like the big short is good. Nobody wants to watch the other one about the uncovering uh the the Catholic uh child trafficking stuff. So like no one wants no one wants those movies, but they're really good. When they come out. <clears throat> Next up, Hope Julian's still here. Next up, we have Nope, which is the next Jordan Peele movie. And we know absolutely nothing about this movie. The new, a new terror from the mind of Academy Award winner Jordan Peele. We only get this. And it, and it's fucking weird, and I will uh, I will absolutely I will absolutely just fucking throw it up here at S tier, absolutely. Um, there's no way that that movie is not going to be a banger. And then we have final final one before we take a small little break. We have the untitled Illumination. Entertainment project. Where we are going to have Chris Pratt, Anya Taylor Joy, Charlie Day, Jack Black, Keegan Michael Key, Seth Rogen, Fred Armiston, Kevin Michael Richardson, Sebastian Maniscalco, and Charles Marnette. I wonder what this could be. I wonder what this movie is. Anya Taylor Joy, yeah. A plumber named Mario travels through an underground labyrinth with his brother Luigi to try to save a captured princess. This feature film adaptation of a prop popular video game. Dig Doug <laughs> Doug Hard. <laughs> <clears throat> Where we will have Anya Taylor Joy as Princess Peach, Chris Pratt as Mario, Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. Jack Black as Bowser. Keegan Michael Key as Toad, which is the weirdest fucking choice I've ever heard in my life. Fred Armiston as Cranky Kong. Kevin Michael Richardson as Kamek. Uh, I've, I've looked into his shit before. He's actually a really good voice actor. Sebastian Maniscalco as Calco. I don't know how to say his name. As Spike, everyone's favorite Mario character, the most memorable one. And Charles Barnett as somebody. I'm sorry, but Keegan Michael Key without Jordan isn't that great. I said what I said. <gasps> How dare you say something so bold and so true? Uh, look, it it is either a tier or dog shit. 
those are the options. It either goes right here or right here. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to see it. Actually, you know what? Yeah, you know, no, it's got it's got to go A tier. I bet that guy is gonna be Bullet Bill. True, <laughs> very true. I can't wait for Charles Marnet to come reprise his role as uh, not Mario. I can't even choose for this. It's true. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final the final scoring for me. This is this is what's gonna make it. In, anything A and above is gonna make it into the Oscars. Anything B and below is sadly not going to win anything. Look, <laughs> you could be mad, but I'm right. A, B tier, B tier, and maybe some C tier will make it to nominations. But A tier and S tier are gonna be the ones that win stuff. All right. Uh, I am going to take a short break because I need a short little break. We've been doing this for almost the entire time that I normally do a, a whole stream. So we're going to take a short, short little break, and then we'll be back for part two of the stream, which is going to make me look like a madman, I'm sure. Right? Yeah, a little bit. Enjoy your, enjoy your little break. Hey, welcome to uh, And Alive, home to all your favorite things you've ever, ever watched. We've got shows, emotes, niche internet celebrities, and Greg. I'll come down to your level. How about that? I'll come down to your level. Are you doing okay? If you subscribe now, you'll get wonderful perks like shows, emotes, niche internet celebrities. Do you like ads? Who doesn't? Wait. You give me money, I give you a kiss on the lips. Look at all these shows we have. And more importantly, we have shows. And if you don't believe me about the high quality productions that are put on here, take it from some other people. And alive! Decent production quality. Andalive. Uh, Andy is a fucking homie. I'm a fan of this homie. So what are you doing? Subscribe today. It it takes so much to produce a smile these days. I'm back. I'm back. I'm prob I promise I'm back. I'm back. I do what I want. I'll sub again what I want. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough, Relly. I cannot control you. You are your own person. Let me come back to this one. I was not prepared to transition. All right. Now let me prepare to transition. <laughs> so, how's a little break? I have stuff in the oven now. Because that's how I'm doing this. Let me get some low bearing music. Great. <clears throat> okay. So let me change the title of the stream now. The title of the stream is And we're actually changing categories for the first time since I started streaming again. That's right, everybody. We're talking about <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's. And why, why exactly are we talking about Five Nights at Freddy's? Well, for a lot of reasons. Um, the main one being they recently came out with a game, Shakiri Breach. 
And I'm getting text messages again. Hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they recently recently came out with a game called Security Breach. Um, and it's not good. It is not good at all. It is uh it is a uh, not only riddled with awful, awful bugs, but the story is just non existent. And I, I think it's about time to, to talk about it. Uh, and, and so the inaugural review show game, uh, it's not a game, but the, the inaugural review show review is going to be about security breach specifically. So because the story is so convoluted and so unnecessary, uh, I'm going to go over the basic plot of the entire series so that everybody can be caught up to speed before I start talking about the dumb shit that we got to get into for this, all right? So I did not make any notes for myself. I'm going to do it off the top of my head. I, I watched a video about this uh, three hours ago. So let's see if I, I can remember it all, all right? And uh, I'll, I'll see if I can get some, like, picture references up. So we got... Hold on, I got to get in here. You guys like breathing? All right, so can I click on this one? Will this one do it? No. Okay, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> God, they're not. Okay, here we go. So uh, <clears throat> back in the day, hold on, let me let me make myself a little bit bigger on this screen. So back in the day, this guy here. William Afton, or Purple Guy, as we as we know and love him, he was a uh, he was a guy who made lots of animatronics and wanted to make himself a pizza place with animatronics in it, like Chuck E. Cheese. Um, and he did it with some other dude who will be important later, but isn't important right now, right? So this guy had three kids. Should I be writing this down? I'm gonna write this down. Hold on. Let me get. Here's what we'll do. I'll pop this up, and I'll pop up another page. I did not have this prepped. Sorry. Sorry, everybody who expects me to do it all really easily. I'll grab this and we'll throw it in here. All right. So you got this man right here. All right. So this will will will. Uh, Will is a child murderer uh, who has three kids. Uh, uh, Michael, I'm not making this up, and the other two. Go over here. Go over here. Listen to me. Michael, uh, girl, and boy, child. Is that, that says bot. You know it. It works, but it's not. It's not referential for now. All right, so we got Will, and we got his three kids, right? Um, well, Will is a very smart man who knows how to make robots, and so he made robots. <clears throat> uh, and then he decided that he wanted to also be a murderer, so he murdered five kids uh, and then hid their bodies inside of the robots that he made. Uh, one particular robot that he had is a, is a suit that both can walk on its own and uh, he can also like hide in if he wants to. He's a fucking weird guy. Um, but that's Will. Uh, he's, he is the main antagonist for the entire series, okay? Um, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's Lore. <laughs> this is what we're talking about now. <laughs> uh, so Michael is like a teenager girl is uh small and and uh and good and boy is small and sad that's all you need to know about these characters um that's really the only relevance that they have to the entire story uh well at least for the girl and the boy so uh will killed these five kids and then decided that he was going to make more robots that are better at killing kids 
And so he made uh, one called uh, Baby. If I can find Baby. God. He's a fucking... Why are you laughing? Yeah, small and sad. He is small and sad. Uh, I need Baby. Baby. Circus Baby. So this is Baby. Baby was made. Uh, and, and Baby... Uh... Baby was made specifically to kill children. Um, uh, baby killer. Haha. <laughs> Control F. Fuck you. Control F to you. Um, and Baby was so cool and, and so awesome that she could do anything. She could like dispense ice cream from her hands and shit. Like, holy fuck, man. So cool. Uh, it's so cool that that girl wanted to to hang out with baby but dad said no not allowed because he didn't want his daughter dying and i gotta go check on these things because i'm afraid that they're gonna combust All right, all right, all right, I'm back now. I'm back. Um, so one day, uh, a girl goes around dad's wishes like this uh, and goes and hangs out with baby and gets fucking deaded. So a girl doesn't exist anymore. And this makes Will very sad. So what does Will do? That's right. Uh, he does what any good father would do, and he just starts traumatizing the small, sad boy into hating everything and w went as far as uh he <laughs> called it in your head fuck yeah uh it, and the whole fourth game for five nights at freddy's fnaf four which i'm not gonna grab a picture for uh was just uh just a, a cruel nightmare for sad boy uh, and it got so important for for Will, Mr. Afton here, Mr. William Afton, that he got his uh, his older son, Michael, to also traumatize small boy because he thought it was entirely necessary. Um, and what did small boy or, or what did what did the what did the Fuck, what did the older brother do? What all older brothers do best. And he traumatized his brother so bad that... Hold on. Hold on. I gotta grab the screenshot. Here it is. That he grabbed a group of his punk friends uh, and for his birthday um, threw him into one of the animatronics mouths and got fucking deaded. Uh, and of course, this also made Will very sad. <laughs> And Will is now very sad because he has two dead kids and one teenager. Uh, and so what does Will do? He does what any father does best. And he creates more fucking killer animatronics and goes on a, another murder spree to, uh, to fit two down one to go. True shit. Very true shit. That's pretty much how this series feels to me. Um, so uh, Will goes fucking crazy like he wasn't already and kills like five more kids. Um, and, uh, I'm trying to remember what, what goes on next. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, Oh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. In the process of killing five more kids, uh, Mr. Mr. William, um, let me go back over here. He, puts himself into one of these suits that he 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 made the the fun ones where you can both be in it at the same time but not if you don't want to if that makes any sense at all like this entire fucking series um he puts himself into this little suit here uh and um it gets wet and it doesn't like it when it gets wet and he turns into this fucking little monster here 
Am I am I making sense so far? Because this whole series doesn't. And now he's uh, now he's a corpse being uh, haunting the spirit of this weird withered thing. Also, by the way, uh, the the soul of girl uh, is inside of this animatronic now, and the soul of this boy is inside of this animatronic now. And so everybody's just haunting their own fucking nightmare monster robot thing, uh, like a good family should. So, wait. So who is who? Who the freak is Freddy? Freddy Fazbear is 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 this guy right here? This this robot bear. Um, he's just a robot bear. the the whole The place, the pizza place, is called Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, and it's basically a Chuck E. Cheese. Um, but, uh, if you don't like your children, that is spring trap. Very good, Eric. That is spring trap. Spring trap is William Afton. Uh, so, oh my God, this thing keeps on scaring the shit out of me. I have my own spring trap right here. He's scary. Very spooky man. Yeah. Very scary. Spooky man. The man behind the slaughter. <laughs> if, if, if. If you uh, if you're aware, so we're only into like the first four or five games currently. Um, the fifth game, I don't even know if it really counts as one, but the sixth game, uh, the the Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria Simulator, uh, is where Michael uh, finally stops his dad. Okay, he said, "Hey, I've had enough. I don't want my fucking siblings getting fucking yeeted by uh by monsters anymore." Let me erase this. Huh? He's out of siblings. He's a little too late to the party. But let me make this a different color. So Michael decides he is going to kill his fucking dad. You like how I'm explaining this? Yeah. This we're not even into like the important shit yet, by the way. I have to preface all of this. Yeah, he's gonna kill his dad so that his dad stops killing other people. Uh, and the way he does that is by setting up... No, that's not the bite of 87. This is the bite of 87. Get it right, nerd. <laughs> so, uh, Michael in uh, in Five Nights at Freddy's Pizzeria Simulator, or FNAF 6, as most people call it, uh, gets all of the animatronics. All of the animatronics, they get, uh, they get yeeted into oblivion. They all b burn in a sad fucking hate fire, just like this. Uh, and Michael goes, ha ha, I did it. I've avenged you, all my siblings and my father. You're also dead. Um, and then uh, the, the other dude who helped Will put together the entire place uh, remade the whole se the whole thing and made, uh, I think, what is actually FNAF 6. But anyways, uh, the dude, the next dude made... The next dude, the the other guy who who owned the the business, the Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria business, he uh he wanted to remake and have a better name for the the company and and really like quench all of the fears so that he can make more money off animatronics. By the way, that dude's not a murderer. He just he's just likes making robots that are spooky. Um, so what did he do? He hired a game development crew to to make a game that kind of like sheds light and makes fun of all of these rumors about children dying in the pizzeria and shit and so they make a vr game this is canon in in the universe this game is in the universe as a video game called five nights at freddy's vr help wanted and inside of that game uh, the the people who made the game coded uh william afton into the game as well and william afton shows up as this bunny that people call glitch trap uh which is infinitely scarier than the last one and and the glitch trap in the game uh has the ability to to possess uh the the user of the game and so the the play tester for the game uh found well, not found, but was being possessed by this fucking uh, a bunny code amalgamation of a dead man. Um, 
and that's FNAF, that's FNAF VR, uh, which is important only for short, short amounts of things. I, I promise you this, this gets so much more interesting. Uh, so this fucking bunny man possesses one person, uh, who we think's named Vanessa, uh, which is also important, but we're, it's not confirmed. Um, and Vanessa found the code that, that made, uh, him have the ability to like leak out of the game or some shit like that. I don't know exactly. It's weird and ambiguous. And so she separates that code into like 13 different tapes. But when you're playing the game, you get the tapes and you put them together. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything's cool as long as you don't put the tapes together. And you're like, oh, no, whoopsies. And so this uh, this code monster is is real in the game. It's like a it's like an actual thing that exists in reality now. Uh, and that's impo- the only important things about Five Nights at Freddy's VR. Now we're into the important one. Now we're actually to the important one, which is the new one, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Why is this all important? Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the, the review show where we're going to be talking about this fucking game and why it's not good <laughs> it's not good for its story it's not good because of its code it's not good because of anything it's interesting but my god is it not good it is it is remarkably bad and i'm gonna tell you why let's go real quick before we do anything else let me read you the plot summary for this game <clears throat> this is like the story plot by the way like what I've just been doing for you for uh, for the uh, uh, the rest of the games. In an opening cutscene, Glam Rock Freddy, Montgomery Gator, Roxanne Wolf, and Glam Rock Chica get ready for a musical performance. However, when they're right about to start, Freddy malfunctions and collapses. Freddy then wakes up in safe mode to the sound of Gregory, who's been hiding within him. Gregory tries to escape through the front doors before they close at midnight but he arrives late by a few seconds with Freddy's help. Gregory enters the superstar daycare where he obtains the first security pass and after being kicked out by the daycare attendant for shutting the lights off, Gregory hides in Freddy and they run to a recharge station before being caught by Vanny at 1 a.m. Surprisingly, Freddy cannot see Vanny with his current set of eyes and mentions that there used to be a rabbit here, but not anymore. Eventually, Vanessa catches Gregory and locks him up in the lost and found, but he escapes when Vanny appears. Gregory finds Freddy, who has been damaged, and takes him to parts and services to be fixed. Unfortunately, the daycare attendant captures the body. Gregory makes his way to the parts and services alone, avoiding endoskeletons along the way, where he finds Vanessa talking to Freddy about Gregory and threatening to replace him by putting his casing on a new endoskeleton if he indeed helps Gregory. She does not repair Freddy, but continues her search for Gregory, and Gregory repairs Freddy himself. Depending on the player's choice, the duo then proceed to defeat a number of animatronics, including DJ Music Man and two of Freddy's three bandmates, before the the night ends at 6 a.m. Gregory uses the parts obtained from Freddy's bandmates to upgrade Freddy in the parts and service workshop, where Gregory can stay after 6 a.m. to defeat the remaining band members and or get the other endings, but none of the save points will work anymore. That's the plot. None of that makes any fucking sense. And let me tell you, let me tell you something. That's the game's plot. That's the whole plot to the fucking game. Nothing else. S tier. (laughs) Perfect. Perfect. So I want to watch, I want to watch this with y'all. This is the gameplay trailer from early last year, like way before the game came out. And I want to, I want you to see how like actually decent it seems. When I first found you, you were nothing. You were small, pathetic. But now, you are more. Are you ready?
Gregory, we can get you out of here. You and me, together. They won't stop hunting you. None of them will stop hunting you. We have to get you out by morning. You will do as I say. You will bring me what I want. And if you fail me, then you will. Both of you, There is more going on here than you realize. Eighty percent of that trailer did not happen in the game, and I'm it's it's fucking insane how awful it is. Let me see if I can find security breach, a uh, bug compilation. We'll find a short one. Here we go. This this is how bad the game is put together. Clipping out, clipping out of an area. All of the trailers, you're, yeah, it's true. All of the trailers were very different from each other. Like that one, I'll show you the, actually, let's, yeah, let's do that. Let me show you the release trailer. Because that was the original trailer, and then there's this one. Which was the release trailer. Trapped. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for visiting, and we hope you enjoyed the show. Freddy and the gang are pretty tired, but they'll be back again next week after a few days of scheduled maintenance. Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex is now closed, initiating nighttime protocols. No, no! Wait, I'm still here! I thought! I warned you! I warned you! should be able to escape when the security doors reopen at 6 a.m. Until then, keep moving and try not to draw attention to yourself. If there is another way out, I will help you find it. I promise. This one was a lot more accurate. It's significant. Make your way to the front of the building, where you will be given novelty glasses, a voucher for one this free not happen. Film, this was not and where game. you will sign a legal disclaimer releasing us of all liability for anything that might have happened during your visit. Have an awesome night, and we'll see you again soon. Would you like to take a short survey about your experience? So, something I feel like I got to say. I, I would consider myself a fan of the series. I think it's kind of cool how mysterious and like everything uh, is put together. Um, the story's always been dog shit. It's always been a terrible fucking story. And I will now present to you how I would fix, not the entirety of the series, 
but how I would fix Five Nights at Freddy's security breach. <clears throat> uh, I think the main problem that came in was actually that... Uh, oh, let me, let me go back here real quick. I think the main problem to the story is that uh, the developers had an original story in mind and then they changed the entire game like two or three times. Uh, and they like increased the complexity of the game, not the story, but the game itself many times. And they say it very openly, like they're not hiding that at all. Like it, it grew. It, it was supposed to be like a one story uh, kind of like Chuck E. Cheese sort of thing. And then it grew to two stories and then it ended up being three stories. And like every single time they had to, to change things up. And I, I really think they kept on continuing to make it grow without thinking about what that would do to the story. So, uh, the overall story uh, needs to be broken up into a, a bunch of different things. Um, but, uh, my rewrite of the story for Security Breach and only Security Breach because I do think that the Easter egg hunt after this whole 6 a.m. mark is, is kind of fun uh, and, and helps the rest of the like the other story happen. But what the whole franchise has been missing is like a self-contained story where you can get like emotionally attached to a character. Um, and I think it's like way past the time where they should be able to do that without the main character just being the antagonist, right? They keep on bringing him back. He keeps on just dying over and over, and it's really fucking weird. So... The overall story is we got three characters. Let me pop in here now. Let me pop in here. We got three main characters that are important to the story. We've got Gregory, we've got Vanessa, and we've got Freddy. And each have their, their overall story. So Gregory's is avoiding being caught by Vanny, not Vanessa, but Vanny, so he can escape from possible death. Vanny's, which is, is not Vanessa, but it's important, uh, created Gregory. I'll get to this in a moment. Per the, the glitch trap weird motherfucker instructions uh, to revive the real Will, William Afton, uh, who has been suffering for millennia or whatever the fuck. Uh, and then Freddy is blissfully unaware and his programming makes him forget his past, but it gets uncovered as the horrors of the place get more apparent. Um, if you don't, if you don't know much about Security Breach, you can go go look it up. But I I gave you basics, so just follow along. So what the fuck is going on with Gregory, right? Uh, well, Gregory has a lot of resemblance to. William Afton's child who got thrown into the the Freddy. So now we have, <laughs> I mean, look, they got the brown swoopy hair, the sad eyes, <laughs> and the striped T-shirt. That hey, in 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 this in this game, that's pretty much like a that's pretty much like a gimme, uh, which means. That Gregory is the dead child, uh, and I don't know how that works because he's in the future. So how does that work? Well, Gregory is mysterious, and we don't have to know a lot about him. Uh, he he is the person that that uh, is dead, um, but it's really weird because whenever he encounters the the evil person, bad person in the game, Vanny, um, his vision gets all weird and glitchy. Which makes a lot of people think, and then a lot of people have been saying this as well, is that Gregory is actually a robot, uh, and was and was reconstructed. I say that that Vanny probably did it with the instructions from from the the fake v VR Afton. It's fucking weird. This whole series is fucking weird. Uh, well, fuck, I lost my spot. But it 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 makes sense that if we're playing as him, that he was revived somehow or, or just transferred into something. I think my actual writing is that uh, if there is a VR William Apton, there's also a, a VR crying child Gregory, and that that is the consciousness that is now into this child that is on the screen. 
if it, this sounds awful and terrible and convoluted to you, that's because it is. Um, but hey, that's where we are. That's where that showbiz baby. Uh, so why does he want to leave? Well, it's probably because uh, the last time he was around a bunch of animatronics, his fucking face got bit in half. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> But that makes us wonder, why is he okay with Freddy? Well, that's really easy, guys. Who who bit the crying child? It was Freddy. Where was the crying child's spirit laid to rest? In a Freddy suit. Freddy is just the old Freddy's put into a new, new suit. Uh, Gregory and Freddy are the same person. That is my rewrite. I don't know if it's actually true, but that's my that's my theory. And why am I a child? I don't know, Greg. Where are my five subs? <sighs> Welcome in. Uh, Gregory, you are actually Freddy Fazbear is what I'm telling you right now. Congratulations, homie. You made it. The whole franchise is about you. Freddy, <laughs> Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria is actually Greg Sokol's Pizzeria. I'll come for you. That's all. All is what you're saying, right? Okay, great. <clears throat> uh, so as the night progresses in, in the, my rewrites, <clears throat> uh, Gregory attempts to escape, and in finding the secrets and all of the weird shit happening underneath the, the fucking pizza plex and everything, he finds, like, dead bodies and shit, and then, like, memories start flooding in and all the things that were being told. And Freddy also has weird memories flooding in, and they uh, come to the conclusion that they need to not run from whatever's happening, but actually uh, put an end to it. That's Fregory. That Fregory's. Fre <laughs> sure, Fregory. Uh, <laughs> they need to kiss. Sure, sure they can kiss. Why not? Uh, so that's what it is. Is is Gregory is a uh, is actually just a different like not real but like VR version of himself, and Freddy is is also Gregory. So we'll move on to, to little rock star Freddy over here. Little rock star Freddy, uh, aside from being the emotional support dad that we have in the game, uh, he is the only one that needs to provide the characteristics for the other animatronics because they're his best friends. So instead of getting a little text bubble that shows up in a, in a message that's like, Oh, yeah, Chica really likes trash. Be very careful around the trash compactor. She could get, she could get crushed if she's found eating trash in there. Freddy's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my friend Chica. She'll come help us. And Gregory's like, no, dude, she's going to fucking kill me. And he's like, nah, it's okay. We got to be really careful, though. She did get stuck one time in the trash compactor and almost lost her fucking life. And then Gregory goes, ah, perfect. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you for telling me. Shit like that. Give them like a weird like contrast because the the the, ch the other dead children are inside of the yeah just like Star Wars perfect. Greg, where are my five subs? <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying it until it happens. You promised. I have it clipped. Um. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, while uh. While while Freddy is like my friends, they're here. They can help you. It's okay. Uh, Gregory keeps on gaslighting him into believing his friends are dangerous and he starts to believe it. And then as they uncover the truth about the pizza plex, Freddy remembers things. I need to access funds. Okay, great. Yeah, we're talking about FNAF. I'm rewriting Security Breach as we speak. Uh, as they uncover the truth of the pizza plex, uh, Freddy realizes all of the things that have happened as well and all the atrocities and is like, I'm going to help you fix this problem. But he's also like, oh shit, this little boy is me. But I'm also me. I'm having a fucking... I'm having a crisis. <laughs> uh, and, and, I, and I wrote here, I assume that the reason Freddy is a friend to Gregory is because the other Freddy was taken over by, uh, by William Afton's youngest son, this boy here, who died in the bite of 87. Where, is, where did I just put this? This boy here. Stop. I'm not trying to paint on him. I just want to move him around. They're the same person. We all know that. That's fine. Fight Club of FNAF. Yes. Sure. Yes. Accurate. I have a lot of those. <laughs> you guys are fucking... You're going wild. 
Which brings us to the most, but least, but most important, but least important person in the entire series, which is Vanessa, also known as Vanny, uh, the bunny person. Well, what's up with Vanny? Vanny is uh, the person that the, the VR William Afton took over. Uh, the, this man, hold on, I'll find it, hold on, hold, hold on, just hold on a second, just, just hold on a second, just, where the fuck did all these go? I downloaded them. <laughs> Where'd you all get downloaded to? Oh no. Are they all in here? Where the fuck did that go? Oh, okay, they're there. Uh, so, th- this man here, this VR version of, of, of the, the man behind the slaughter, is that fina- is that is not fan art? This poster, dead ass, is an actual poster. That was an actual like poster that they put out for for the game. So so this man possessed this lady who is also this lady, but she doesn't know it, like a Jekyll and Hyde situation. Uh, and this lady made this boy over here to bring back real life. This man. Willie Mafton, if this all makes any sense at all, it shouldn't, but it, I promise you, somebody somebody will know. Um, and and that's the whole plan, is is to take the, the VR a- Afton boy and real-life Afton boy and Gregory and, and to combine them all together to bring the, the bad man back to life. Um, but this is the interesting part, because Vanessa, um, who is the most interesting character that... Uh, that 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 doesn't do anything in the game and only does stuff in the trailers is uh she helps gregory <laughs> and is like very open about it but like the security guard could just open the place right so why why can't she just let gregory out well the answer is because this motherfucker right here keeps on getting in the way it's like a jack and hyde situation and and it, and it leads to a lot more interesting things you know but her her arc this story is actually like genuinely really just about Vanessa and Gregory and Freddie finding out who they are. But Vanessa has to like have this overcoming moment where she, she realizes what's going on and she has to put a stop to the things that she's been doing. She's a genuinely good person because she has to be, look how cute she is. (laughs) That was, that was gross. Please, (laughs) please remind me to never do that again. Um, and so here's my whole write up about this. If I can, can I show it on screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was my whole write-up about this. Like, I took fucking notes. Um, so basically, instead of this being a story about a kid trying to get out of a place at 6 a.m. and then, like, finds a fucking old man in a closet um, and a bunch of other dumb shit that's happened, uh, it's a story It's a story where we can get attached to these characters who are finding out about the, the shit, the awful shit that's happened in their past and them overcoming it. That's the story. Um, I also like hopeful have hopeful intent that this was how they were trying to make the story happen, um, but the way that things are set up, it just it's very sloppy, and they never like release actual information about people. So this this is what this is what I think would have been good. Um, I'll I could write it up an entire timeline if I really needed to, but I f- I feel like that's a little too much for this stream. So. Um, what I'm getting at here is uh, they did not do well with this. And it is kind of like a make or break moment, in my opinion, of whether or not the series was going to go much further with, with the things going on in it. Um, but it uh, it sucked. Um, and I'm going to sit here and stall until Greg <laughs> gives me my five subs. <laughs> because he needs it. Oh, oh no, he, he clipped. No, I'm not a furry, Greg. You clip that instead, you motherfucker. Uh, man. So, Greg, check this out. You like that? Funds are in motion. Great, 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 great. So that's that's my that's my whole rewrite of um, of the new Five Nights at Freddy's thing. I know nobody that that follows me really uh, pays attention to any of this. And that's I. That's totally fine. Um, I did this disturb controversy with the the Five Nights at Freddy's community because uh, they could be doing better, and that's the whole point of this show. It should be doing better. The FNAF reboot. Uh, get look to conclude. Steel Wool, hire me. 
not as your story writer, but your project manager, right? I'll write the story and I'll make sure you fucking stick to it too, okay? You got deadlines. You got people to fund it and you fucked it up. And you know you did because no one's saying anything about it online. Nobody from Steel Wool. They're just like, yeah, it's got some bugs. We'll work them out after the holiday season. It's fucking January 8th, dude. <laughs> you need you need to fix the game. I bought it. I bought the game on PS4. And I can't get past like a certain part of it because of how like awful they made it. Oh, thank you, Gregory. Thank you for the subs. Wow. Oh, fuck. There it is. There, here comes all the noises. Here it comes. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. I feel so loved by my community. Two more. All right. Here we go. Two more. Start a new goal. 70. I don't know why it still says 60, but... Damn, there it is. Is it echoing? Holy fuck. That's not good. <laughs> Thank you, Greg, for the five subs. You're making your way up to the top very quickly. You're the two streams away from it. <laughs> Homie, me too, after every fucking spelling bee. And after Tuesday, which reminds me, Greg, uh, uh, send me a text. I, I need you for Tuesday. Um, Yeah. I think that's pretty much everything that I oh, I have planned today. I have to order a mic for Frank. Why do you have to order a mic for Frank? I told you to just come get one from me, dude. All right. <clears throat> that concludes this stream. All right. I'm done picking beef with the communities. Uh, I will. Uh, I will have. I like this show. I like doing the review stuff. I like fixing people's storylines. Um, and I'm probably going to do it again soon. So. Until I do it again soon. Uh, next week's going to be fun. I actually have all the schedule out, I think, or two of them. Yeah, two of them. Uh, next Tuesday, we're doing Hot Take, the new one, season season one premiere. And I, we're going to have a bunch of, of people who watch on. <gasps> Greg's, Greg gave his, uh, hell yeah, thank you for the resub. You're on three months now, fuck yeah. Catch up, Julian. Oh no, I don't think your I don't think your resub counts as a gift sub. But you're doing it, homie. You're a founder, uh, which means you got the gold badge if you want to use it. Uh, we got hot take coming. It is a is a fifty fifty dollars is the grand prize for the people going. Uh, you should come in and support and play along. It's it's gonna be a good time. Uh, you, you, the chat get to decide the viewer that wins. It's actually pretty fun, I think. And then Thursday we're buying an editor cause I'm fucking done with this. I'm fucking done with not having a fucking editor and having to do it myself. Like I, this whole set, this whole new setup over here, this whole new setup that you can't see. I got fucking three monitors and I had, I had to switch everything to OBS studio, which is working beautifully, by the way, I'm having a great time with that. Everything, everything I, I, I've had to set up. It's fucking wild. Um, Greg, do you want to do you want to be my fourth guest for Tuesday? You can be the fourth guest. Really, really, I'm gonna open it up for somebody else for the next hot take. Okay, uh, I I gotta set a precedent for the first one. So so you're gonna have to wait until after that one. But I promise you, you can you can work for your VIP. I'll I'll find a way to work it in to where where you get your VIP. Okay, I'll make it happen. I'm off work at six. Okay, okay. It starts at seven, so that's that's good timing. Six o'clock uh, or six thirty when you get back. Just hop in the Discord, and we'll make it happen. So, thank you all for being here. I hope you liked the new show. I'm getting better at streaming for longer. You know, new year, new me. That's what they say, right? Um, yeah, this was fun. This was fun. We'll do it again soon. We'll do it again real soon. I um, love you all. See you on Tuesday. Stream chat, what's happening here? Question at Michael G. Who is Pokimane? I'm very late to answer Kevin's question. Good night, everybody. Oh, let's raid somebody. Let me raid somebody. Who's live right now?
Let's raid. Let's raid. We're going to raid Carson. You're welcome for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Nah, we'll raid Toast. Sure. We're raiding. We're raiding, everybody. Go bonk his chat. He probably won't see it. His chat is wild. But have, have a good time. See you all on Tuesday. We got the point. I'll take it. Yeah.